I'm Dan, and I am half of the Witches of the Crystal Garden. As we're in quarantine, Joe and I can't see each other, so I have to film this on my own, which is really sad, and that's why we haven't really put out a video, which is also sad. <laughs> Anyways, so for this video, I thought I would just kind of go over more items that I've gotten from the thrift store since you guys really liked that video, and um, I'll just show you all the junk I own. So for starters is this box. I'm always showing boxes off because <laughs> I love them. This one's really pretty, and I hold all my oils in it. Honestly, I know I always talk about boxes from thrift stores, but that's because they're so great, and they're really cheap. And they're everywhere like you can always find a box I at least have like four or five boxes like gotta have boxes anyways so it's a really cool box this one has like really pretty like texture on it it's my favorite box <laughs> and going off of like a container perspective I also got this jewelry box I used to put crystals in it and some herbs but now I just put jewelry it's got all these cute little drawers and whatnot so you can keep all your jewelry, jewelry in a cool box. Again, boxes, I'm obsessed. Along with boxes, I have a lot of glass containers. Uh, most of my herb containers I do get from craft stores, but I have gotten more of my interesting best like containers from thrift stores. Yeah, this one, it's probably my biggest jar that I have. Second biggest, I don't know. But yeah, so glasses, you know, I'll show you all of them that I like of this one. It's just a little bit different looking than my other ones. Along with even my tiny ones, like this one, this is for my rosemary. Um, it does have roses on top of it, and when I had first gotten this container, it was like one of the first ones when I started really getting herbs and everything like that. So this one actually I got, and I was like, oh, it's perfect for rosemary. And then like a week later, I had gotten rose petals, and I was like, still works, but could have put rose petals in it. Doesn't even matter, but it's cute and it's different. Sorry for the mess right here. I don't really feel like cleaning it up. Hmm. I have a bunch of junk. Anyways, a lot of my containers are similar because they're from the same stores, but you got a few in that are from, you know, thrift stores and also and it kind of like spices it up, you know, gives it some something a little extra. But along with um, glass containers, I do have some glasses and things like that. I have like this dude, which is really cool looking, and I love him. He's got like this stained glass look. I've used him for a lot of things. <laughs> I put tea lights in him. I've uh, used him to water propagate plants. I put jewelry in him now. I got these glasses. I actually did not get these from a thrift store. I got them from an estate sale, so I will point that out. But I've seen stuff like this at the thrift store. I um, just didn't didn't buy that. These are the most dramatic cups I have ever seen in my life. They are both cups. Like they that's what they are. Uh, I'm debating if I want to make them into candles or to drink out of them. I have like a whole set so I can really just do whatever I want. I've gotten long glass containers. I know Joan showed off one that she had just gotten in the last haul but like this one's mine and I'm making a mini moss garden in it. It's doing kind of okay. I also get a bunch of these little containers or like holders. Um, they're like, like for tea sets but they're made out of metal and you can either like polish them and make them all pretty or you can keep them kind of looking iffy which is iffy is my aesthetic so I keep them iffy but I really like them and I have like three or four of them and like even the lakes are really cool and like I like it most of my containers and stuff um, now we're on to the decor so you get your candle holders this one is for like a big candle uh, I've used it to hold candles plants I've used it for my glass containers that are my plants are in or whatever it's just something like a little extra to like boost it up it kind of gives like your space a little extra you know pizzazz it's all this is it's all pizzazz gotten frames from thrift stores so this one i haven't done anything with yet i collect frames for no reason other than that i want them this I, I did take it for the frame, but I kind of love the picture now. It's grown on me a lot. <laughs> a lot of the decor stuff I have, I have gotten over like years and years of going to the thrift store. Um, you can get lucky and find a lot of it in one time, one try or none. I don't know. Bird cages, you can find bird cages all the time at the thrift store. If you went to like a craft store and bought it, it would have been like at least 35. And it's cute, and I like it. It looks really cool. I like it. You should get it. I also bought this. So it looks really interesting. It is a fish bowl that like claps at the bottom with a thing on it or something. I don't know. I put all my stuff in it. 
put stuff in it that looked cool. This is actually um, some potpourri I got a while ago. I really like the look of it, and it's cool because then I'll open it up and it smells really nice. Um, I got this cool candle holder. You know, it's for tea lights. I actually got a set of two. It's cool, and you go with no expectations, and you you get what you get. I have gotten alligator head or crocodile. I don't really know which, but I've gotten one of these. Um, I did actually get this from a garage sale, not a thrift store. It's the cheapest dead thing I've ever bought because I do have skulls that you can kind of see in the back. I don't have like a lot, but I have some. Kind of pricey, but um, yeah, this I think I literally spent like three dollars on and it's just because the lady did not want to have it in her house anymore. And I was like, yeah, I need that. We're friends now. Her name is Pepper. Pepper the alligator. I also do buy fake plants. Um, not always. I do try to have a lot of live plants in my room. I do know like when I move there's gonna be places that it's gonna be hard to have a lot of live plants if I don't get a lot of like light in my house or my apartment or whatever. And I do have some that are just in my room in general. Uh, I'm not gonna lie and say that I have only living plants. So this one's fake. Um, I got, and you can see the foam in it. Um, I got the container there too. You can get a lot of pots and um, containers for plants at the thrift store, which is way cheaper than buying them outright. Honestly, it's not bad. You buy fake plants from the craft store. It is so expensive. Some fake plants, I'd take a look at it. Um, I know in, I think it was last thr thrift store video, I did say my horror story about getting a fake plant one time and how gross and disgusting it was and how terrified I am of buying fake plants ever again from garage sale. But thrift stores, I mean, like, like they're dusty, but that's a about it. I even actually, this one behind me is a fake plant too. Some more odd decor. Uh, I bought a phone. It's just aesthetic. People are like, oh, you should contact the dead with it. You should use it in your practice. I think that's a really cool idea. I don't really work with spirits. That's not something I do. Uh, I wouldn't be against someone else doing that, but I, I don't do that. If you're looking for a phone that has feeling to it, you could check it out. Get something cool looking. If you want to add to your like book collections or whatever and you kind of want them to like look cool, um, check out thrift store books. They have the aesthetic you want and they're good books. <laughs> so like these three, I have Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and other stories and then the picture of Dorian Gray and then this one is just uh, fairy tales and fables. So like I enjoy these books because they're, they're cool and they're used, you know? like. You don't have to buy them brand new. They can be used books and these ones, you know, are my most aesthetic books and probably the cheapest books and, you know, reusable, you know, save, save trees. Don't cut up more trees if you don't have to. Just thought I'd throw something on here, let you guys see what you can get from thrift stores a little bit more. I'll show you some of the stuff I own that I've collected. Like I said, like I have a lot of junk. This is not even organized. I just I just threw my camera up. <laughs> so I probably should have cleaned first, but it is what it is at this point. Um, you can just start collecting things in small bits and just find what you want and go from there. That's what I've been doing. I've gotten a lot better at deciding what I want and what I just think is cool. So yeah, so that's a bunch of the stuff that I've gotten through the thrift store from the last few years. Um, do I have more stuff? Yes. Yes, I do. Do I think you want to see more of my junk? Probably not. This is probably good. But um, hopefully when this whole quarantine business is over, Joan and I can do some more or dollar store, you know, hauls or whatever just to help money wise because I definitely know with this whole quarantine that people are very nervous on their money and I do feel like right afterward will be difficult for people to spend money on themselves which is going to really suck because everyone deserves to spend something on them. So hopefully, hopefully this helps a little bit on that. Kind of. I don't know. Um, let me know what other kind of videos you guys would like to watch, anything that I can do without Joan in the next week or so, that'd be kind of cool to let me know so that I can be kind of productive. So like and subscribe, you know, comment below if you have an item similar to some of the ones I have because I'm kind of curious how unique are the things that I actually find. Follow us on Instagram, tell Joan that you missed her in this video and it was not the same without her. I am Dan, I am on my own in this video and I hope you didn't notice how extremely awkward I am without Joan.